Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new vlog. What's up? What's good? What's cracking? So today is gonna be an interesting day. One of those fun field, just wing it vlogs. Supposedly my steering wheel for my Tesla is going to come in today, so I'm super excited I'm hoping that UPS doesn't deliver it at the end of the day, so I have enough time to install it So many people were asking me about the Corgi sticker, so I decided to restock it If you guys want a cop, I'll have it live on my website already for all of you guys And who remembers these? I just reprinted the OG sneakerhead in the base stickers I used to stick these all around my high school This sticker right here brings back so many memories This will be on the website as well I don't know how the weather's like where you guys are from, but out here in California, the weather has been so nice lately. It's been in the 80s, it just feels like it's summer. I'm starting to get that vibe. Unfortunately though, we can't really enjoy it. All the parks are closed, everything pretty much is closed except for restaurants. I believe this whole thing got extended until May 15th if I'm not mistaken. So I'm with my mom right now and we are heading over to Iguanas because we are gonna do some uh, research on their burrito sizes because we're gonna go ahead and deliver food for the medical staff and everybody right by our house the Santa Clara Convention Center there's a lot of people out there that are putting their lives at risk every single day to help their communities and people around them so we're gonna go ahead head over to iguanas super close with the owner so we're gonna kind of like try to work something out and we just got to see like how big the meal sizes are because I know what I usually get it's pretty big you could honestly probably split that with two people but we're gonna see what a normal size burrito be looking like So if I'm not mistaken, what they did with the convention center back there is they are placing the patients that were in the hospital that aren't infected, they move them basically over there. I don't know how it is where you guys are. Maybe you can leave some comments down below. Is it as crazy? Let me know. You guys good? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Guys. Nice camera. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm not sure if I got that on camera, but what he was doing was he was seeing if you guys like needed a cart or a basket and he was going to like sanitize your hands and all that stuff. Since we're not using any of that, he didn't really do it to us, but never seen that. That was my first time seeing that. Kind of crazy, he had a spray bottle and everything. Mission complete, we got our milk, we got our bananas, and we are good to go. So many people were wearing masks in there, it almost makes me feel out of place. Everybody has a mask on, I didn't have my mask on. <laughs> I, I don't even know. Just got back, got the burrito. Shout out to my family over at Iguanas. This is a super mini burrito. It's a little bit smaller than the one that I usually get, but it seems like this is the perfect size for everybody that's working over at the convention center. Your boy's just gonna dig in, mukbang style. Mmm. This one is carne asada. Gotta put the orange sauce on just like that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Whipping the Lexus today. Oh! Oh! Ah! Bro. Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Some of you guys may be wondering, Alex, where are you going? Good news, the steering wheel arrived, so we're about to pick that up. Lunch was good. One thing about me is that I am super diverse with the music that I listen to. Like, I literally listen to anything. Reggae, uh, old school hip-hop, new school hip-hop, classics, rock, R&B, whatever, you name it. As long as it's good, I probably listen to it. What I started doing recently is I started putting together, like, a... Uh, it's almost like a 2003 to 2006 playlist uh, stuff that I used to have back on my iPod Nano. I had to uh, download stuff on LimeWire, FrostWire, and all that crazy stuff with my homie Josh. Music is one of those things that can bring you back to a certain period in your life or that's a, that's at least how i feel so i feel like music is super important comment down below one song that you remember when you were in elementary school or middle school that you would listen to almost every single day i'm kind of curious to see what y'all listened to back in the day Ooh, the vibes hey hey Hey. All right, all right, before I get copyrighted, yo, that was one of them back in the day. The vibes for today and that song, oh, is lit. On YouTube, super, super strict with the music choices. Like, I always gotta use non-copyrighted music, but think about it. How good would videos be if we could use actual songs, right? That would be the day, honestly. That would be the freaking 
day. YouTube, you gotta get your stuff together. Let's create with actual artists that we listen to. That it, it all makes sense. Why do you gotta copyright us? You know what I mean? Like, let's find out a way to work things out. I've shown this option so many times, but for everybody that's new on this channel, this is my favorite part about having a Tesla. And now it's a super hot day, right? It says that the interior of my Tesla is 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Super hot. So what we're going to do is we're gonna turn on the climate and we're gonna start cooling the car down since we're about to start working on it. So as you can see, interior is 107 degrees. Now it's already doing its work and I'm gonna go inside, get some things and it should be cool by the time that we get there. We just got the package from UPS and now we can finally unbox it. I'm super excited to show this to you guys. I've been waiting for it for about a month now. Hey y'all, hey y'all. Let's do this. Ooh, nice wrapping, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh! Yo, this is crazy. Holy crap. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this thing. Carbon fiber everywhere. This thing looks so nice. Even like the grip of it, like just the shape of the sides is completely different from the stock one. I'll get a comparison real soon, but man, look at this thing. This thing is freaking beautiful. Oh, this thing is so freaking nice. I've seen some people put like carbon covers over, but this takes it to a whole nother level. The quality of the steering wheel is just amazing. I wanna give a huge shout out to Tall Customs for customizing this steering wheel for me. I told them exactly how I wanted it and they completely murdered it. If you guys ever need a custom steering wheel, feel free to hit them up and let them know that your boy sent you. I thought a red stripe on the top would look super nice. Of course, we want the carbon fiber accents, but I wanted to go with the red stitching on the side to complement the red that's on the top. I don't know if you guys remember, but for Xbox, they used to have the steering wheel that would go for a racing game and it was connected to pedals and everything. I used to play that when I was a kid and this literally feels like you're playing a game. Something about this steering wheel right here, just the way that it looks, the way that it feels, it just feels crazy and I could tell when I'm actually driving the Tesla, it's gonna feel like I'm playing a freaking video game in this. They were also nice enough to include a Taw Customs vinyl. They hooked the boy up with a carbon fiber keychain. Pretty cool. So this is it, the stock steering wheel. This is the last time we're gonna be rocking with this. I just wanna give you guys the last look at the steering wheel. As you can see, it's like completely circular around here. We have a little nudge, little hill right here. In all honesty, this is a really nice steering wheel. It's very comfortable, minimalistic. You only got two buttons right here and the horn, so. I like how this one is, but I feel like that new steering wheel is gonna make me wanna drive this car so much more. It's a pretty tight space in here, but I'm gonna try my best to teach you guys while I'm doing this as well. So I don't know if you guys can see this little hole right here. This is where we're gonna put a small flat head and it's just going to push the pin that's holding the airbag right here. We're using an Allen wrench. An Allen wrench. Oh, there you go. I think I got that one. Aha! All right, so why isn't this, why isn't this coming out? Aha, there we go. There we go, baby. If you guys use two of these keys, it makes it a lot easier. We have the airbag disassembled. I'm gonna unplug this, and then I'm also going to have to unplug that piece right there, which is the whole power to the steering wheel. Probably should have done this at the beginning, but we're just gonna power the car off. It just feels a little weird doing stuff to the airbag when the car's on. I don't know if it makes a huge difference, but we're gonna be extra safe about this. So car technically is off, and we're just gonna pinch those two little prongs right there and pull out the airbag. After messing with that a little bit, we have to remove this piece right here. So if you guys ever want to do this at home, I highly recommend just getting a long bar like this. A breaker bar will work. This is what I was using before. It's because it's the only 3 8 size that would fit the 10 millimeter piece up there that we bought. But I went to AutoZone and got the extension. I got this bar and I finally freaking removed this piece right here. So makes it so much easier when you have leverage. Here we go. That's what it looks like. <laughs> ah, there we go. For the moment we've all been waiting for, 
here it goes. Ah, there we go. Woo! Oh man, that looks so good. All right, the tough part has been completed. I'm basically just reversing the steps that I already did. Huge shout out to Tall Customs for killing this one, man. If you guys need any custom work, check out their page right there on Instagram. You can also follow them, show them some love if you guys need anything. Let them know that your boy sent you. I plugged this in already, and this is super tight. It's gonna be a pain to get that one out, but I don't think I will be changing the steering wheel. Last thing to do is put the airbag on, and like I did at the beginning, let's just, uh. Let's power off this car. I'm not trying to get an airbag to explode in my face. Okay. I think we're good. So while I'm sitting here just chilling, enjoying this AC, I thought maybe I could talk to you guys about some new mods that I think I'm gonna do to this car. So obviously this one was a big one for the interior. The interior doesn't really need much, but the steering wheel will make a big difference. I've been looking around on YouTube and I've seen a lot of people putting some carbon fiber over the wood. So I think that might play off the steering wheel real good. If you guys own a Model 3 and you actually have that, if you could link me down below in the comment section, that would be dope. I know there's different versions, but whatever fits best, whatever you guys know, for sure will look best uh, I would appreciate it if you just hit me up I mean the wood is cool and all but I feel like it just doesn't match the interior of this car I think the carbon fiber makes a little bit more sense than the wood seems like a lot of you guys like the diffuser so I'm thinking about more than likely just sticking with the same company for the sides and the front I wasn't a huge fan of the front lip but I think it's gonna grow on me a lot just because the fact that the fitment of the diffuser was so good I can already assume how the rest is gonna fit but I'm gonna give myself some time on that I'm not gonna rush at all those are just some of the things that I plan on doing so that's going to be it for this video let me know what you guys think about the steering wheel and once again I want to give a huge shout out to my family over at Ta Customs for absolutely killing this one I really appreciate it thank you all you guys for watching I hope this video was able to keep you guys entertained while you are locked down I'll see you guys very soon for the next video it's your boy sneakerhead in the bay have a beautiful day I'm out peace